Adam Posen, as Mr. Erdogan formatted a new crisis this morning, are these headlines so irresponsible that it could further move Turkey into crisis? Yes, Tom. I mean, he's doing the textbook way of trying to personalize things and make it seem as arbitrary as he possibly could. I mean, this is really strange. Erdogan has played a long game moving towards his goal of, of getting more and more power in Turkey. He's done it slowly. He maybe got emboldened because he got away with his unbelievable lockup of tens of thousands of people after the coup attempt. But the markets aren't going to sit still for this. This is bringing on the, the chaos with for him. Great, with great respect for Ecuador and other nations, I would respectfully suggest, Dr. Posen, that Turkey is not Ecuador. This is a big country, a complex economy sure. of international relations. How do the institutions respond to Mr. Erdogan's headlines? What does well, the no, IMF do? No, you're absolutely right. The Turkey, part of the reason we got here is because for all his political shenanigans, and shenanigans is too soft for what he really has done, he's run a pretty good economy until about a year, a year and a half ago. But it's like with this takeover on the Sovereign Wealth Fund with his son-in-law, who may be very nice, at the finance ministry with the latest announcements, he's just like intent on saying, whatever the economic fundamentals are, look at me, and that's not a good look for an economy. In terms of the institutions, the critical point is, like many people before him, he will at some point have to get a bailout from the IMF bailout meaning do reforms, do restructuring, get bridge financing. Two questions. First, does the EU step in as, as the U.S. did with Mexico 25 years ago and make it softer and more ample than what the straight IMF program would be? And second, does the Trump administration use their veto in the IMF given the pastor while still locked up in Turkey, given the other things going on between U.S. and Turkey, and politicize an IMF program. And that's a risk I'm really worried about. Adam, good morning to you. Great to have you good with morning. us. So, yes, so that's, that's interesting in terms of the complications of even going to the IMF. He, and he's certainly not suggested that he would do that. Um, I'm casting my mind back to the MINT, that acronym M-I-N-T, and Turkey was the T in MINT, wasn't it, Adam? Um, where, is there any way back for Erdogan, back to those days, back to those days where the financial community was excited about the opportunities that Turkey presented? I mean, there is a way back, but it's doubtful and that it's going to be a way back that he can just reverse in the next few days. I mean, it's something that he would have to make some kind of credible commitment that the central bank maintains independence, some kind of credible commitment that he will let some businesses go under who have too much in the way of foreign currency loans and not simply make political decisions about that. And it requires a commitment that he's not going to be personally lording it over what, as Tom said, is a major economy.